Hey friends, how are you? Welcome back. I am a Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Reads, and I'm doing a little impromptu live. I'm making an arrangement for my porch. It's a lemon themed, and we're making it, um, making it using artificial flowers. So we've got some lemons. I've already um, started adding the greenery in my base, and I thought I would turn on the live um, and let you follow along. And we have um, Sorry, wax. I'm still not sure about that. Oh my gosh, stop. We have wax flowers in the white. So I don't know, I thought I would just turn the camera on and you guys can watch me and I will um, keep making and explain as I go. Again, these are all artificial flowers. That's all I work with. And um, yeah, so let's do it. So this container, measures about 12 inches and you can see i've already added some green fern that extends out um about six inches from the side all right so let me um go ahead and put this down a little bit closer so that you can see i do put all of my um flowers in glue the hot glue and um to see i don't think i can see your comments unless i go like that <laughs> all right so i'm just going to keep working in it and i'm going to try to anticipate your questions all right so we have these are the the um the faux lemons and i'm going to use just wire cutters to separate these out a little bit first i know i want to clip off this and then I want this to drape a little bit. So I'm gonna clip off this one. So the lower branches, I'm gonna clip off. And then I wanna see how far is this going to hang over the edge. And then I'll figure out where to clip there. All right, I'm gonna get another branch. I love these lemon sprays. Um, these are, from a wholesaler, we don't sell supplies, but I did get this from a wholesaler and um, just love them. Now they they do come on long branches so that we can, um, you know, put them in longer, I mean, taller containers. So let's go ahead and, aren't these cute? These just little, little lemon things, or um, what do you call these? Lemon, just lemons. All right, so let's go. I think I'm gonna go this way a little bit and then just stick this in. Dipped it in my glue. And I've got styrofoam in the container. So we've got one going in this direction. I'm gonna get my longer, the longer one. So we've got our short stem here. So do I wanna go this way? I think I'm gonna go this way try to mirror the one we just did. I'm gonna pay attention to the length on both sides. Have you made anything with your artificial flowers? Have you made any arrangements or anything? Let's see if I can see any questions. I can't, but if you guys give me any hearts, if you're watching <laughs> hearts and likes, I would so appreciate it. All right, bending to get a realistic look. I do wanna trim this back a little bit more. I'm just gonna keep these small I'm waiting on a DoorDash delivery to the to my warehouse here because we're doing we're going to be doing a Facebook Live in our wreath making of the Month Club group, and in that group we're going to be making a sunflower arrangement. Just making it a little bit shorter on the sides and longer on the edges. 
it's fun when you're just decorating for yourself or designing for yourself. I don't have to stress over it so much. All right, and now let's go ahead and just keep adding these. I think I'm gonna add this right here. Actually, let's save those for a little bit later. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in a little bit with some of our wax flowers. Again, all artificial. And these are pushers, so you can push these up or down depending on how much length you want. Dip in the glue, and then just start adding. Let's go in this direction with this one. And then I'll trim this one a little bit shorter. I'm gonna go straight down in. Gonna mix this up a little bit. And then I'll cut another string off or another uh, stem. So I like to try to make my arrangements look real so to do that i always make time to like shape my stems to give them more of a realistic look let's go over here with this one getting some glue strings off i like it it's got some white going through that i'm going to go ahead See, I'm gonna grab another greenery for for more texture. This is Pisporum. And we're just gonna cut these in little sections and add these. Actually, this piece is a little shorter, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this down right here in the center. These come together pretty fast, and I try not to overthink it. Just remembering my you know, principles and elements of designing as much as I can with my form, texture, color, you know, all the things. All right, so now we've got a little spot right here. I'm gonna add this green. So that little bit of greenery added a lot. Okay, and now I can fill in with another little flower right here and then we have another lemon I'm just gonna pop these on the front so we've got just a little bit of height I wanted this one low and a little uh, long. I'm 
All right, let's do this one. It's just a little piece of the pit of sporum left over. I'm just gonna stick them in here just to fill in any holes that I see. Turn it around on this side. Let's do this one right here. And I don't want to add any, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I just wanted to add a little bit of yellow on my porch table. We've got white wax flowers, little yellow lemons, greenery. I could add another greenery. But I really wanted the yellow to pop. Isn't that fun? Let's just do a little bit more white. If you are new to our page, welcome. You can find more tutorials on our website at southerncharmreads.com. So we've got a lot of instructional videos, especially if you're new to, you know, the silk flower world. I'm gonna move this over here. I think I'm gonna do this one right here. Okay. Here's a little more greenery and it's got a little yellow tip on it. So this can be a good addition to help fill in any areas and also add color. You know, I think my dinner is here. Remember I told you I ordered a DoorDash. When I work on one side, I switch and work on the opposite side. Or try to just, you know, get some balance. And now we're going to add one more stem. I think I'm going to add this one right over here. This is just filling in. You know, we established our shape from the very beginning. Then we laid out our pop of color. I'm just gonna do one more. Keep going, one more, one more. Thank you, thank you. Dad. 
didn't want to add too much. I like the airy look, but I also like the natural look. It feels like it needs a little white right through here. Let's get a little white. And then one white in the center. And get our glue strings off. Isn't this fun? I like it. Here it is on the side. So it's in a, um, the side is galvanized. On this side, it's wood. So it's in a really fun container. And I think this is gonna look really pretty just sitting on the table on our porch. We have a little coffee table in front of a sofa. And I've got some linen picks in my planters but this looks real <laughs> and I think it'll fit in really fun. Thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful um, rest of your day and a wonderful weekend coming up. Um, if you're in the States, um, enjoy the fourth and let me know what you're interested in learning um, and I'll try to do another live video, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day, bye.